For today's quiz, I have this board. I have a bearing right through the center. It's oscillating back and forth. I've got heavy weights down at the bottom here. Our question simply asks, what would happen if I put weight up top there? Here's what your quiz looks like. I'll hold that up now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your confidence. Most students are gonna say, well, if I put more weight on this, it's gonna go faster or it's gonna go slower. Often they can't figure out which one it is. Some will say, it seems like it's gonna increase the moment of inertia, so that seems like it should slow it down. But others say, when I have more weight, I end up going faster. So those are the two typical responses that we get. All right, you can see I put some weight on the very top here and it slows down dramatically. Crazy how slow it's going back and forth. Really interesting though. Why is this? Well, it really is an inertia problem. We can get a little bit more complicated with the math, but just think about that. If I have more mass out there, it's harder to get going and slow back down. Something else that's rather interesting, if you think about the uh, frequency, is if I were to pull this out, and then I were to let it go all the way around in a circle, how slow this ends up making complete cycles. It's uh, really pretty cool. One of the things that we want to encourage here at the Idealized Science Institute is long-term projects. This would be a great long-term project. In other words, as I change the mass or the pivot point, how does that affect its rotation or period if it's oscillating back and forth? So um, if this is something that interests you, there's so many different variations that you could do with this particular apparatus. Build one on your own. Again, I just drilled a hole, used a little ball bearing. You could probably get away without even using a ball bearing, but you can end up varying the weight on both sides. Uh, not only does it uh, look cool, but it would be a really interesting uh, project for you to present at a science conference. And that's one of our major goals. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book, That'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.